James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Ladies and gentlemen, today is March 25th, 2020, 2, 8 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, NASA has just announced that they have discovered 2022 FA-1, and it will hit planet Earth today, tonight, or at some point in the next few hours. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it has a zero lunar distance. Uh, it is inbound. There is good news, though. They believe it to be smaller than 10 feet in diameter, which means that they didn't really even have to tell us if it is smaller than 10 feet in diameter because it would have just burnt up in the atmosphere and would have probably not harmed anyone, but may have caused a sonic boom depending on the speed. This is a very hot rock moving at 18.5 kilometers per second, one of the fastest you'll see, and it will be a direct hit. So if you hear a sonic boom and your windows are shaking, you'll know that 2022 FA1 just discovered today or announced today. We'll take a look at the discovery uh, just hit you. All right, the solution date, as you can see, is today at 4.42 UTC time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, 38 total observations over one day. It was first seen yesterday evening. Condition code is still 7 on this, okay? With 0 being great and 9 being highly uncertain, so they have no idea how large it is. And to give it a 0 lunar distance clearance means it's going to be a direct hit on planet Earth. I hope they're right about the size uh, because it is moving at 18.5 kilometers per second, again, which is as fast as you're going to see any of these near-Earth objects move. Now, something's not right because they also announced 2022 FD1 inbound for tomorrow, 0.7 lunar distances in between the Moon and the Earth. Uh, of course, the condition code is high at a 7, so you don't know where it's going to go, or they don't. And, of course... Look at the inclination. They just spotted this. Just spotted it. Let's take a look. 2022 FD1 inbound for tomorrow, the 26th. Great, guys. The solution dates the exact time and period and day to day of the other object. It's been observed exactly as many times. Hmm. Very strange indeed. Uh... I want to make sure I've got the right one here. Yes, this is 2022 FD1. They must have discovered them, and they must be moving together. One must be missing the planet. One must not be missing the planet. So it's traveling much, much slower and is 15 feet in diameter. So it is traveling at 13.4 kilometers per second, which is a pretty good clip compared to most of these near-Earth objects. Condition code again 7, which means they don't know how big it is. They don't know where it's going. Uh, closer to being highly uncertain than good, right? And data arc span of 1. Of course, all of these things are just found by our automatic AI software. Not a human doing a thing at JPL, NASA, or NOAA. 57 observations over 24 hours. It was just spotted yesterday inbound for tomorrow the 26th god bless you and yours please share please subscribe and always remember anything's possible in bizarro world